Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this project, we're going to use the gorgeous Anna Griffin Vintage Toppers 2 collection and lots of other goodies from her range. Everything I do use, I'll put down below in the description box. The first thing that I'm going to use is my blank card and it's a 7x5 ivory card base. I'll show you how it looks on my cardometer and it sits there nicely just less than the A5 and bigger than the A6 so it's in between it's a good size not too big to fill and not too small that it will it'll be lost on a mantelpiece so that's our card base and I'm just going to make sure that it's got a good sharp crease along the top now for new viewers I do that on every card because it always makes it look more professional you don't get the crease marks in it and it'll stand up nicely on the mantelpiece when you're done. So we do that and I always do it a few times anyway throughout the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the insert. Now what I've already done is I've cut a piece of ivory cardstock slash paper because it's a little bit thicker than normal paper. It's roughly 160 GSM. And I've stamped onto it and I've stamped a sentiment. It says, hope lovely surprises are coming your way to make your birthday a wonderful day. And it's from the Anna Griffin 22 Clear Birthday Stamps. I haven't inked the edges. I haven't done anything else. But I have positioned the stamp into a specific place. And I'll show you for why when we get to it. So I'm just going to peel off the back of my tape. Now for any new viewers... Everything I use, I put in the description box. If I've just repeated myself, I'm sorry. I put in the description box below the video on YouTube. And if I can include a link, I will do. So that's how you'll be able to find out the details of the products if I go too quick. So I've just placed the insert into the middle of my card. Now... What we're going to do for it, we're going to use one of the Vintage Topper 2 collection. And this is a non-sentiment floral embellishment. There's, I think there's 108 in the kit. So you're going to be spoilt for choice and you're never going to feel guilty using them. So I've picked one of the floral ones and I've put a little bit of tape on it. But where we've positioned the stamp in, that's actually around the embellishment. So when I put this on the card, as you'll see, the stamping is to one side of the embellishment and it sits so that you can still add your message in the card, uh, your to and your from, etc. on it. But you've got just something a little bit fancy for when your recipient opens the card. So next we're going to go on to the front. I'm just going to give it a quick score again to make sure it sits nice and flat because we've put the insert in. And for the base of the front, I've taken one of the papers from Anna's Rose collection. I've just cut it to size for the front of the card. It's just a little bit smaller than the front, so it'll sit nicely as a layer. And just before I forget, there will be no project on the 9th of November. So that's this Wednesday. So you've got this one today and then there isn't one on Wednesday and then we're back to normal on Friday. So it's just one of those things, but unfortunately I can't bring you a video on Wednesday. So we'll just pop in the layer on the front of this card like that. So that we've got a nice little edge around the outside. Next what I've done, I'm taking two of the floral, flu um, sorry, the gold flourishes. Um, these are stickers and they're in collections. You can either buy them separately or together with the silver flourishes. And I've got two of them. The both um, stickers, you peel the back of them away like so they've got a good stick on them so you shouldn't need any extra glue and I'm going to position one of them at one side of the card towards the bottom 
like that. And then the second one, I'll peel the back away and we're going to place this towards the top of our card. And pop this to that side. So already it's looking really glittery and pretty with that gold on it from both the gold on the paper and the gold on the flourishes. Next what I've done, I've taken one of the Vintage 2 toppers. This says on this special day. Now on the back of it, I've got 3D foam. I've also got flat tape. So I'm just going to peel off the back of the foam and the tape. And we're going to add some of the pre-made rosettes. And I want to show you how I'm going to do that because I want to position them so they sit in the right place. So I've taken the tape off and I want my embellishment to sit roughly there. But I want to add the rosettes to it in specific places. So I want one behind the rose. So I've put flat tape behind the rose and I want it to sit roughly there. So I'll press that on and then I've got one that I want to sit just at the bottom of the butterfly. So we've got tape on there as well. So from the front I can just make sure that I get it in the right place before I pop it onto the card and I can keep checking. And then the last one I've got tape just above the sentiment on this special day. So I'm going to place the last little rosette just above the sentiment like that. And then I'm just going to peel the tape away from the rosettes that I've already added. So you'll be able to take a little bit more time, you'll be able to just organise it on your worktop and decide where you want things. But I thought it'd be nice to show you how I position them and then how they'll go onto the card. So now everything's in the right position on the topper. I can put the topper onto the card like so. And then you can still see the flourishes behind on the base of the card. And you've got all the detail from the topper and the rosettes. So the last thing that I've got to add is a little bow. And this is double faced satin 15 millimeters and I've just made it into a single bow and I've put a little glue dot on the back and I'm just going to add it just above our sentiment like that to finish the card. So that is our finished card. That's our inside, very pretty and it goes with the outside. We've got the gold of the flourish on the topper that we've used on the inside to match the gold on the flourishes for the outside. It still stands up nicely and it'll look great on anybody's mantelpiece. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget we haven't got one on Wednesday and don't forget to send in your tricks and, tricks and techniques if I can speak for our 31 days of techniques and tricks. I'm doing it again. Tricks and techniques in January. Easy for me to say. So let me know if there's anything you want to see and I will try and say it properly next time. And I'd just like to say thanks for watching. See you next time.